from WNY News. This is First Morning Weather. Well, welcome back. Starting off with the Cornell Sky Cam. Dry conditions in place for tonight. We have clear skies overhead. Temperatures dropping back through the 40s and into the 30s eventually for lows tonight. Now, last night we got all the way down to 32 degrees right at the freezing mark at the Elmira Corning Regional Airport. It's going to be a close call again for tonight. There's the potential for some patchy frost out there. Uh, even if we don't get the frost, it's going to be a chilly start to our Saturday, but a nice recovery by the afternoon. Now, I mentioned this earlier. I'll mention it again tonight. Uh, we have a meteor shower that's going on. It actually peaks tonight, uh, and this is primarily for the southern hemisphere, but we do have the possibility of seeing a couple of these meteors even locally here in the Twin Tiers. Uh, you want to look to the southern sky. Uh, the only issue tonight is the fact that we have a full moon out there, so it is a bright night and that's kind of drowning out a lot of these meteors that we would otherwise ordinarily see. So again, we got a couple things going against us tonight. But again, if you're lucky, up to 10 meteors an hour may be seen in the southern sky, especially after midnight tonight. Uh, again, you want to bundle up because temperatures are already cooling off very nicely out there. But again, at least we have the clear skies, so we have a shot at seeing some of these. A few clouds back off towards the west, but we do have an area of high pressure and control locally, and that should keep us uh, mainly clear for tomorrow. Decent amount of sunshine, but we will have the patchy valley fog to contend with, much like we had this morning. So again, that may slow you down if you're hitting the roads early in the morning. Otherwise, no uh, issues in terms of any precipitation out there. It's 45 in Watkins Glen, 43 in Corning. Still looking at 50 for Tioga and Mansfield, 45 the current temperature in Tawanda. So here's how things play out over the weekend. High pressure nearby for tomorrow. Fair skies. Temperatures will be seasonably mild. 68 is our 5-degree guarantee, but there will be a wave of low pressure off to the west, and that will be pushing our way during the day on Sunday. So Sunday... Uh, we'll have a mixture of sun and clouds. Clouds thickening up as we progress through the afternoon. And towards evening, this area low pressure will pass through with limited moisture. Uh, the chance for a couple rain showers. Most of Sunday, though, will be dry. But towards evening, again, we may have to dodge a passing shower. Then it pushes eastbound and we'll be looking at drier conditions Monday before another round of showers will move in on Tuesday. Precipitation looks to be light. 68 for tomorrow's 5-degree guarantee, 73 on Sunday. So temperatures on the mild side, and here we go Sunday, showing most of the day dry, just increased cloud cover by 6 or 7 o'clock in the evening. This is when some of the showers will be passing through, and our latest guidance in terms of rainfall amounts through Sunday, only looking at a couple hundredths of an inch. So again, it'll be light rainfall amounts, and if you want to get some mowing done over the weekend, you should be good to go. All right, let's take a look at our five degree guarantee for today. We forecast a high temperature of 61. That was the official high at the Elmira Corning Regional Airport. 35 for a low tonight with mainly clear skies. 68 our five degree guarantee tomorrow. Low 70s for Sunday and Monday. Tuesday chance for a couple showers. But notice next week we stay at or above normal for temperatures for this time of year.